one of the major reasons why researchers and writers use Zotero is because of its ability to create properly formatted citations and bibliographies. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Zotero to save time in your writing workflow by letting Zotero generate your citations and bibliographies. Zotero works with Microsoft Office, LibreOffice, and Google Documents. However, for the purpose of this video, I will only be focusing on how Zotero works with Microsoft Office. In terms of the number of citation styles available, Zotero has more than 9,500 citation styles. Most of them are based off actual journal citation styles, so you should be able to find the citation style you need. Zotero works with Microsoft Office through a plugin, and I will show you how to install the plugin in this video. Before installing the plugin, please ensure that your Microsoft Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Excel are turned off. Installing the Zotero plugin for Microsoft Word is very easy. Once you have ensured that your Microsoft Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Excel are turned off, open up Zotero. Click on Edit and then Preferences. Once you are in this window, click on Site. Click on Word Processor and then click on Install Microsoft Word Add-in and Zotero will install the plugin. To check that the plugin is installed properly, open up your Microsoft Word you should see the Zotero ribbon and the Zotero functions. Citing using Zotero is relatively straightforward. First, make sure Zotero and your Microsoft Word document are open. Next, select where you want to add the citation. I'm using APA 7 edition for the purpose of this demonstration. Once you have selected the location, click on the Zotero ribbon and click on Add Slash Edit Citation. A pop-up will appear. Search for the reference you want to cite by searching for the author's name or title of the paper. A filter will appear to help you narrow down your search for the reference. Select the reference you want to cite and press Enter. Your reference will be added. You will notice that the bibliography is not inserted automatically. But I will be teaching you how to add the bibliography later. You can also add more than one reference in a single citation using Zotero. The steps are similar to adding a normal citation. First, select where you want to add the citation. Click on Add Slash Edit Citation button and search for the reference that you want to enter. Instead of pressing enter, just continue to search for the other references you want. You can add as many references as you want, but I'm just going to add two for today. Deleting citations created by Zotero is straightforward. All you need to do is to select the citation you want deleted by placing the cursor after the citation. Delete the citation by pressing backspace and your citation will be removed. Some of you may be asking, how do I add page numbers or remove author's name using Zotero since there seems to be no option to do so? Don't worry, you can do it with Zotero. Just a point to note, if your citation style does not require page numbers or removing of the author's name, the changes you make to your citation will not be reflected in your Microsoft Word document. To add page numbers or remove the author's name, first select the citation in your Microsoft Word document. Once you have done that, click on the Add Slash Edit Citation button and a pop-up will appear. Click on the reference you want to edit and you get to add page numbers or suppress the author. I am just going to add a page number to show that it works. At the start of this video, I did mention that I was going to show you how to add your bibliography into your document, and I'm going to show you how to do it now. Let's assume that you are done with your document, 
and you want to add a bibliography. First, select a place where you want to add a bibliography. I am just going to insert the bibliography at the bottom of this Word document for this demonstration. Click on the add slash edit bibliography and your bibliography will appear. The formatting of the bibliography is handled by Microsoft Word. So you can change the font size or add si subtitles like a typical Microsoft Word document. Sometimes you may need to change the citation style of your document because your lecturer or journal editor might want them in a different style. Changing style is not difficult in Zotero. First, click on Document Preference and you will be able to select some citation styles that are already installed in Zotero. If the citation style you want is not there, click on Manage Styles and a pop-up from Zotero will appear. Click on Get Additional Styles and you will be brought to the Zotero Style Repository where you can search for the citation style you need. As mentioned earlier, there are over 9,500 citation styles so you should be able to find what you need. For the purpose of this demonstration, I am just going to change the citation style to IEEE to show you that it actually works. Finally, after you are done with your document and you are ready to submit it or send it off electronically, we highly recommend that you remove the Zotero codes. The reason for doing this is to prevent your Word document from being corrupted when someone edits it. To remove the Zotero code, make sure you save the Word document first. Click on Unlink Citations and immediately save and rename your Word document. I am going to rename this as Zotero No Code. Send this copy to your editor or the submission system for your journal. Thank you for viewing this video. Hopefully this video has taught you how you can use Zotero to generate your citations and bibliographies. If you have any other questions about Zotero, please email us at asalip at nus.edu.sg. If not, have fun using Zotero.